I'm Sabrina and I'm Nikisha and welcome to Urban Bush Babes. Today on Urban Bush Babes we are going to be going over our skin regimen. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over what we topically do to our skin today and then next week right we're going to go into what we can do as far as health wise like what we eat. You know, um, we're going to go into stress levels mm -hmm. and you know sleeping everything internally because mm -hmm. we will tell you and I repeat, we mm -hmm. will tell you, skin has everything to do with what you put in it internally and how you take care of yourself and your body more than it does what have to do with anything, of yeah, what mm -hmm. you put on top of your skin. But today we're still going to go over some of the things we do to put on top of our skin because we know these things do help. Mm -hmm. So Sip's going to start out with hers. Yeah, so my skin regimen is pretty simple, but the products that I use are very element in having healthy skin or at least, you know, just topically what I put on to my skin. So what I use to wash my face is tea tree oil, you know, because it's classic. Um, <laughs> you know, um, but it's tea tree oil soap. And this is what I use, tea tree oil soap, all natural. And this I purchased from Trader Joe's and it comes in two packs. So you get two bars of soap in one pack. Uh, tea tree oil is very, very beneficial for your skin. So when you're using the soap, it's a natural astringent, antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal. So this is good stuff to be using on your skin because it clears out all that bacteria that might be clogging your pores. And this is one of the reasons why you get breakouts. Mm -hmm. So it's good on top of that because this is just natural. It'll get rid of all that bad stuff. So this is what I use to wash my face. Uh, what I use to moisturize after I wash my face is Aracacia. So I hope I'm saying this right, but it's A-U-R-A-C-A-C-I-A. Aracacia. And I purchased this from Whole Foods. This is organic cocoa butter. So what I used to use years ago was Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. And you know, it has all the good stuff. You get 25% more bonus and it's all nice and with, cheap <laughs> with vitamin e yeah vitamin e heals and softens rough dry skin smooths marks and scars but you can't be fooled by the packaging people mm -hmm. you want to turn this bad boy around and you will go straight back to the ingredients mm -hmm. let's see what's in the ingredients hmm. the aroma cacao so of course it has the cocoa butter extract in it but you'll look at the second ingredient and it's mineral oil. And we went all into this in episode 12 about mineral oil is not the best stuff to be using mm -hmm. on your skin. Because we talked about it on our hair, but goes the same for your skin because instead of your skin absorbing, absorbing that product, mineral oil is just going to sit on top of your skin. Mm -hmm. It's going to sit on top of your pores and your skin's not going to be able to breathe. Not literally breathe, but you know what I'm saying, breathe. So one of the ways your skin's going to shut down because it's not going to be able to function properly because your pores are clogged is you're going to start breaking out. Mm -hmm. um, it's plain and simple. So stuff with that has mineral oil products that have mineral oil, it's not the best to be putting on your skin. So when I transitioned to this about, you know, probably about over a year ago, this is organic. This is the organic stuff. Fair Trade Certified Cocoa Butter. And if you turn this baby around, you'll see the only, the main ingredient and only <laughs> ingredient in here is Theobroma Cacao. And that's basically, so when you hear someone say Theobroma, it's basically a fancy terminology for cocoa oil. Theobroma Cacao is the tree that, you know, the cacao beans come from. So it comes from the fruit of that tree. And it's just a pod the size of a football. So when you hear someone say, it, it can get confusing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cocoa, cacao, cacao, cocoa, cocoa, cacao, not caca, mm -hmm. it's not the ish. Cacao is the shizzle. So when you hear that, cacao, cocoa, it's basically the same thing. It's just different processes. Mm -hmm. So cacao means that, well, let me say, cocoa, cocoa means, oh, it's a little tongue twister, cocoa, cacao, cocoa, <laughs> We'll remix here. Okay, so cocoa is when the bean, the cocoa is when the bean is cooked, it's roasted, cleaned, processed, and cacao is basically the same bean, but in its raw, 
unprocessed, uncooked state. Mm -hmm. So when you're using a product that's being made from cacao beans, you're getting the most out of that product. You're going to reap the most benefits from that product. And one of the reasons why it's very important to use organic you know, in almost anything is because you're going to reap the most benefits from that. Cacao bean is one of, it's a superfood. It's one of the most highest, actually not one of the most, it is the highest antioxidant food in the world. That means it beats green tea, it beats red wine, it beats blueberries. I mean, it's about 30 times more potent in antioxidants than red wine. It's 20% more potent than green tea and about 15% more potent than blueberries. So you're using this stuff on your face. Nothing but good things can happen. Mm -hmm. And the reason why antioxidants are so good for you is because antioxidants help prevent free radical damage. And free radical damage is basically, basically cellular and tissue damage to your skin. It basically, what happens is this leads to premature aging, mm -hmm. wrinkling, sagging, leads to cancer, and a whole bunch of other diseases. Mm -hmm. So this is another reason why it's good to use this. It's very, very high in antioxidants. And then some of you might be wondering, what's the price? Because you know, when you think organic, you think at a higher price. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, because you're paying, it, it's worth it. You're paying a little bit more money for high quality stuff. So this was $7.49, and I know people are like, ooh, $7.49. But you know what, it's worth the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, seven forty nine. dollars But what I wanted to say is that this stuff lasts. So you're thinking like, oh, it's gonna be around three months. This is made from a very stable fat. So this will last you for about three years since this is made from a stable fat. And I just wanna show you the consistency of it. It's hard, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> You hear that? <laughs> it's like a the sound of a cocoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this stuff is it is hard. I'm not gonna try smells, to play it. Smells good. Yeah, I know. Mm. I know. Mm. Mm, put a wick in here like this, like right. You know? <laughs> yeah, but speaking of candles, it has, it a, has very, a waxy consistency. Yeah, it has a very waxy consistency. So what I do is when I'm using this stuff, they actually say on the back that you can remove the cap. Remove the, remove the cap and then the plastic piece that came on top of this and then you place it in the microwave and then heat until the product is just softened. But you know, I got a little paranoia sometimes with microwaves and my products, you know, I think it might deplete some of those great elements in the products, all mm -hmm. those nutrients. So yeah. I prefer to um, take a pot of water. So what I'll do is I'll fill this I don't fill it, probably fill it up to here, maybe a quarter away, because you don't want to fill it all the way up because when you drop this in, you don't want this product to be swimming all in there. It's just enough so it'll fill up to maybe this part when you place the product in. I'll boil it and then I'll let it sit for a minute or two. And then I will place with the lid on, I'll place this into that cold boiling water crazy. So it's still hot. And I'll just let it sit there and it'll soften it right up. Uh, so if you don't want to do this every time, because I can be a little bit tedious doing that process, what I'll do is I'll take a spoon or I'll just take this plastic cap and use the edge and I'll gently, I'll do like little shavings. Because yeah. it, it, it turns when you do this, little shavings come it looks out. It's like little wet mm -hmm. shavings. And what I'll do is I'll just get just enough you know, to your desire, because this stuff is good, so it doesn't really matter. But I'll put it under my hands. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little yeah, ashy yeah. in between. <laughs> in between. <laughs> Gotta go out later. So if you, if, mm. yeah, if you just do that, you'll notice that it dissipates very fast. I mean, it's it good, yeah, too. right? It, it's not hard work getting that moisture. It doesn't feel like greasy mm -mm, no it doesn't because your skin's actually absorbing it mm -hmm. instead of just sitting on your, mm -hmm. your skin that's what natural products do your skin's able to absorb it so what happens is it absorbs very easily and then i'll just what i'll do is i'll just pat that on my skin very carefully do you do this once or twice a day um it i'll do it in the morning and then i'll do it at night okay so i do this in the morning before i put on my makeup i wash my face put this on my face and then i put my makeup on okay and then at night before I go to bed, wash it off and okay. then put this back on again. Okay. The cocoa butter. So that's why I do I do that. Thanks for that. <laughs> for twice. Because I know someone out there is going to ask that. Yeah. And also, <laughs> too, uh, I also use this. 
as to take off my makeup remover, like take off my mascara. Mm -hmm. um, it's very good for taking that off, since, especially since it's all natural product. And you have to be careful when you're manipulating your skin around your eyes because that's the thinnest area on your face. It's like the skin around your eyes is 10 times thinner than the skin on your face. So this means it's very, it's more susceptible to losing collagen. And this basically means that you're going to lose elasticity because, you know, your skin is like a rubber band. Like the more manipulation that you do, the pulling, the tugging, the eyeliner, the contacts, all that adds up every day. And then you can basically lose, you know, collagen. You'll lose elasticity around the that skin area around your eyes because it's so sensitive and so thin. So I'm really careful with washing my face, you know, putting on my mascara, very careful and very attentive to the skin around my eyes. Mm -hmm. So also too, what I also wanted to mention as well is besides the cacao bean and all that stuff, sometimes when I feel that my skin needs like a little freshener or I need to exfoliate, I'll do like, you know, because we're barring people over here, mm -hmm. you know, home mm -hmm. loan remedies. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to spend big bucks. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do <laughs> is I'll fill this up probably about halfway with water and I'll let it boil. You know, once it's done boiling, I'll cut it off and let it sit for a minute or two. And then I'll leave it on the stove and I'll take, you know, a little face cloth or sometimes, you know, I'll do a towel. I'll just throw it all right on top of my mm -hmm. head, you know, like Rocky style or something. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and I'll do this so since I have a cloth I'll put it over like this over my face that's why sometimes a bigger towel works better but you know you can put this over your face and it works kind of like a cloak and cloaking all that steam so it goes into your face I just want to show you the level where I put my face because you don't want to put your face in the pot oh no it's going to be too hot yeah it's going to be too hot <laughs> you're going to have something more to worry about than some fog pores and some skin damage you're gonna be worried about burns so what you're gonna do i put my face about to this level so you can see yeah go where it's mm -hmm. comfortable yeah right here <laughs> and i'll throw this over um so i let my face sit over there for like probably about three three to five minutes because it just feels good it feels like you're sitting in like a steam house or something mm -hmm. it just it just feels really good yeah and then after that i'll go into the bathroom and i'll gently take my washcloth and I'll do, you know, a little exfoliation. Very light because my skin has just gotten all that good steam. It's really softened up my skin and softened up that dead skin. So it's very easy to exfoliate that dead skin from my face. So yeah, that's basically that's basically it for my skin regimen. It's very simple but very effective as well. Awesome. Yeah. I think I want to try that tea tree. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so for my skin regimen. Um, oh, bro, yeah, put a little better. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, I hate yeah. trying to get a little extra moisture, <laughs> I see. <laughs> so I use black soap on my skin. Uh, I have combination skin, which means it's oily and it's dry. So I get a lot of, if you ever see me shiny on camera, that's all the oils mm -hmm. working their magic, making me look like a dang light bulb. <laughs> all here gets all greasy, all here, like, ugh. But... Um, I use black soap, which is awesome. And the things that I used to use before were like Cipriana's more processed mm -hmm. chemicals. I was trying to get all that over the counter medication stuff then, you know, started researching more organic natural products. So this was one of the first big steps was black soap. This stuff is awesome. Different brands add a little something different, but most of the time um, it has usually plantain skins, mm -hmm. plantain extract, vitamin E, vegetable glycerin, um, palm ash, shea butter. Usually all black soaps have those as ingredients. This is Shea Moisture's Organic African Black Soap with, with Shea Butter. I really like this line because I noticed like if I ever have a blemish, it really fades, mm -hmm. fades. And then when you wash your skin with black soap, it feels extra clean. And I have read that it helps minimize pore size. So if you have a problem with enlarged pores, it's great at shrinking it. I guess whatever ingredients mm -hmm. are in there. vitamin E, right? Yeah, vitamin yeah, E is very beneficial for your skin. Mm -hmm. very. So, um, and I think there's like aloe and yeah, there's aloe in here, rosemary extract, extract iron oxides. Mm -hmm. This stuff is awesome. 
So do you you get clean skin, moisturized skin. This helps fade blemishes. Uh, this is great. And then when my skin gets really dry, I tend to get really dry here and on my forehead. So whenever I see dry skin, I will take a face cloth. Not, not the same face cloth that I use for my body. I have a separate one. And I try to like replace it at least two to, two to three times a week. Because you kind of don't want to have the dirt from your body and put it on mm -hmm. your face. If that makes any sense. So that's what I do. So when... Like sip, I do circular motion all over, just in the shower with the black soap to, to exfoliate. Or there has been times where I do, I used to, but I don't do it that much, where I do the pot mm -hmm. and I steam with castor oil on my face. Um, that's great for if you have dry skin, you're trying to moisturize, and then you just wash it all off with um, warm water and soap. So I do that. And every time I do wash my face, it's with warm water, and then I always rinse my face off with cold water. Yeah, it's close because the, pores. the cold water minimizes the pores. You want to shrink the pores because open pores, you're going to get a lot of clogged dirt and stuff, and then that's where all the pimples are going to mm -hmm. come in. You want to shrink them and keep them tight. And when you get pimples, try not to pick them because uh -huh. sometimes... I mean, I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes I pop my pimples and you'll get the scar. I scar easily from my pimples, so lesson learned. Yeah, oh, try I'm not picker. to pop them. Yeah, I'm and I'll be all in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it well, could even be a blackhead. Mm -hmm. You ever had, like, yeah. squeeze a blackhead, then the yeah. next morning you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed mm -hmm. Reindeer? Don't do it. You have yeah. germs and bacteria under your nails. Yeah. So when you go like this, you just push all oh, those mess. germs mm -hmm. and bacteria underneath that little so white head, black head, and boom, it's a huge, yeah, long, long, why, crazy exactly. pimple. Exactly, that's why you notice that your pimple's bigger when you pick it. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. Just clean it and leave it alone. It'll go away. I know it might be gross to some people, but this is reality. You trying to be real with me. And I pick my son's little <laughs> black head's pimples all the time. He's like, Mommy, can you pick it? I'm like, ew, okay. <laughs> I'm a picker. Just don't pick. Like, do something else. Just don't yeah, pick. Okay? Exactly. Um, so after I wash my face, I always use this. Aubrey Organics is awesome. It's 100% natural. And this is a formula made for sensitive skin. It's a moisturizing cream. And it's called Vegicol. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> it's V E G. E C O L veggie call with aloe. So this is a soothing formula that helps restore elasticity and hydrate skin. You always want to hydrate your skin, especially when you have oily skin, like how I do. Hydrate, 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 because if you're not putting hydration back into your skin, you're gonna have even more oil mm -hmm. and you're gonna have even more pimples. Mm -hmm. I know people are scared to put moisturizers on their face when their skin is oily, because I was scared to do that but you're gonna prevent more oil from coming by properly moisturizing your face. So this is great, it does not clog the pores at all. It's really a thin, nice cream, it absorbs into the skin. It has like coconut fatty acid cream base in it, aloe vera, witch hazel, horsetail, mm. um, all this stuff. Colt foot, what's a cold foot? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It, I don't know. It, B, vitamin B5, vitamin F, carrot oil, lemon, lemon peel oil, all this awesome stuff. I get this from the vitamin shop where you could order it online. Um, this is great. And then when my skin's feeling extra dry, the same stuff that I use on my hair, aloe vera juice, okay, aloe vera juice, I will spritz my face. Oh, and it feels so good. Mm -hmm. I bet that feels good. It, <laughs> it does. And the great thing about this is, um, you know, aloe juice, I will repeat again, is a, uh, a humectant. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna help draw moisture to your face in, um, of course, in humidity. So that's great. So whenever my skin's feeling dry, I put that on there. And I notice that throughout the day, my skin doesn't get as oily as when I don't use it. So that's a little trip, uh, trick that I have. Um, another thing that's really good that I'll use if I have a blemish and I want to get rid of it like really fast is I do a lemon honey mask. Now I had done a post on this on our blog so you can check that out. Just type in lemon honey mask. I do a half of lemon. You squeeze this in a bowl or a cup and then 
about a tablespoon or I think two tablespoons, I can't remember, and I just mix it and then on a freshly cleaned wash face, it's going to sting a little bit because of the lemon. You'll just put it on your face, leave it there for like 15 minutes, don't move, don't talk, you know, just hang out. Um, I like to put this on like when I'm cleaning or something or cooking. And they recommend raw, uh, organic raw honey. And please be careful with this. This stuff is delicious. Oh, yes it is. Mm -hmm. I ate I some. Yeah. I ate a whole jar. <laughs> Just had a spoon. <laughs> Meant to take a little tablespoon. Why not eat the whole thing like ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It is really good because I tried it before I put it on my face. Um, honey is a great antibacterial as well. Mm -hmm. And it's great for moisture. So now even sometimes when I notice like really dry skin, I'll just slather honey on my face. That's why they recommend it for burns. Yeah. If you get a burn to put honey on the, the burned area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not third degree burn. It, it, yeah. It's also humectant. It's great moisture. You could actually put it on your lips for for chapping to mm -hmm. like overnight. This stuff yeah, is Yeah, don't wear that great. outside. Yeah. <laughs> you try to have little honey lip. insects and stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> So, um, I do that. You leave it on for 15 minutes. You wash it off. This, the lemon helps fade the dark spots and acts as an astringent. This brings moisture, also acts as antibacterial. So, these two together, magic. <laughs> um, and I will say, with before you try the organic raw honey, make sure you're not allergic to it because I learned the hard way. I had a little hitch moment. Remember in Hitch when his face blew up? <laughs> yeah. I like broke out a little hives and I'm on the phone with my man. I'm like, oh my God, like I see little hives all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell if it's because I ate it or if I'm allergic to it topically. Mm -hmm. So, um, you and that's because it's more potent. Yeah. And raw honey has like little bits of pollen and stuff still in it because it's the purest form of honey that's why it tastes so good but that's why it's so good for your skin too so just try it first you know do a little test area because you don't want to be walking around like will smith from hitch mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to no, no, not you. do that thank god that happened at night i had to take a benadryl i was fine in the morning <laughs> but yeah, that's my skin regimen. Yeah, I actually also too, I forgot to mention because we were just talking about it. This is good for UV production. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. because it's so high in antioxidants. So this is very good in like boosting your system to protect yourself from all those UV rays that be coming your way that are very detrimental to your skin. So I actually mm -hmm. forgot to mention that as well. Just throw that in. Yeah, so that's it. That's yeah, skin regimen. Yeah, it's very simple, uh, but it's very effective topically that's just mm -hmm. topically next week we're gonna go to all the eternal stuff mm -hmm. to me probably gonna have to break that video in two parts you know yeah. just as nikisha stressed yes. it's very very important what you put in your body how you treat your mm -hmm. inside the outside is great but it's much more important what you put mm -hmm. inside because mm -hmm. a, a lot of the topical stuff won't work because mm -hmm. your body's telling you that something's wrong when you start getting all these breakouts mm -hmm. and stuff it's not just you know dirt from the air right. and also pillowcases exactly. which we forgot yes. to mention we, totally we change to mention pillowcases two to three times a week it, yes at least no less than two times a week yeah that changes a lot yeah that's very important because you know you shouldn't actually even be going to bed wrapping your hair up in a scarf if your hair is extremely greasy, all mm -hmm. that can get onto your face and mm -hmm. clog your pores. From the pillow. Exactly. So you have to be careful about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But like we said, next week, all the inside stuff. Exactly. And the rest and the stress. Because mm -hmm. that's the stuff that's most important. But we wanted to cover our outside right yeah, now. We just wanted to, you know, make sure it's just the top. Okay. Okay. Make sure you guys stay classy. And please join us on Facebook. Oh, yeah. You know, Facebook, Twitter, our site, urbanbushbabe.com. We love you guys. We love you. Peace. Stay classy. <laughs>